The Mara phone hit the headlines as the first fully African smartphone. It's produced in Rwanda's capital, Kigali. Based in the city's economic zone, the company has 200 employees, 90% of which are local. This is one of the unique um, initiatives that changed the narrative from being a consumer to become a producer. We are proving today that we can also have a high level of technology to produce very good devices then to the international level uh, and that is made in, in Africa. Embossed with a lion on the back, the phone is also a story of pride. But initial optimism faded when the first Mara phones didn't hit the sales targets the company hoped for. There was a lot of hesitation in the beginning. But the, the great surprise that came out of it, we started in, uh, on the 7th of October, which is about three months ago. But today we've exported for over 53 countries. While the phones have fans in Germany, Switzerland and Nepal, they're relatively expensive for the local market. The two models cost 130 and 190 US dollars respectively. $190 is very high for African market. For them to scale as a Mara, uh, they need to review the pricing and also to uh, produce uh, assemble something that fits the market. Many customers prefer Asian models that cost between 40 and 70 US dollars. And there are still many people who can't afford a smartphone at all. In Rwanda, smartphone penetration is only around 15%. A government-supported campaign called Connect Rwanda aims to change that. The idea started as part of the broader initiative that we are trying to address as a country, which is how do we increase smartphone penetration? because as we aspire to become a digital economy, a smartphone becomes a basic tool. Companies and individuals can donate smartphones which are then distributed to underprivileged individuals. As part of this, Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame, pledged 1,500 Mara phones. Many others followed, leading to a boost in the company's sales. Our next generation of phones, which will be released before the end of 2020, will even go down. So we'll be able to produce a smartphone that will be much, much cheaper than the current price. Though with many people in rural areas in particular still lacking digital literacy and the money to pay for internet access, there's still some way to go.